Hi there. I want to continue on with web hosting. In the previous video, we got some free web hosting space over at 000webhost.com and created the account and I even told GoDaddy, where my domain was ultimately registered uh, through Google, about the, about the name servers. So if I were to go to my website right now, hikingandbend.com, um, I get basically it's a it's an intro message, a welcome message so to speak from triple zero hiking and bent or I'm sorry triple zero webhost.com and basically it's a it's a reminder not to violate their terms of service and they're letting me know that right now they have one web page in there default.php has already been published to my space which is likely providing this message so once I start using my FTP client to publish my own files one of the first things I'll do is delete the default PHP which is creating this page and in the previous video I also told you that there was a there was a page of files of account settings uh, usernames and passwords Words that they provided and that's worth printing out and I have it off screen here so I can uh, refer to it when I log in. So this is what my site looks like right now. The program I'm going to try first is FileZilla which is a free open source FTP client. Really great program and uh, pretty easy to use. So in FileZilla it's going to ask me for some critical information. The host, the username, and the password. Fortunately 000 web host gave us this information. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my information up here at the top. It does let me know what my FTP host name, username, and password is going to be, plus the folder that I want to upload to. So I'll go ahead and enter that information now, and then I'm going to click Quick Connect. I don't need to put in the port number, so just these first three and then Quick Connect. Okay, now that I've logged in, I typed in my host address, my username, and my password, and then clicked Quick Connect. Um, I get a split interface which is normal for FTP clients. On the left is my local machine and on the right is my server. Now they do tell me that I have my folder to upload files is the public HTML so ultimately I need to publish things right into my public HTML folder. In fact they even have a little text message reminder do not upload here. So I need to open up the public HTML folder and I can see there's the default PHP page. So any pages that I upload into this public HTML folder are going to be available on the website. That's pretty easy to do. Uh, here, we'll do a really fast test right now. So I'm on my computer locally. Let's go ahead and... Uh... Okay, so instead of my C drive, I'm just going to go over to my desktop and I'm going to create a quick web page and put it on there. And uh, to make it really fast, I'll just do this in uh, good old-fashioned Notepad. So I've got Notepad open. I'm going to create a basic web page. HTML tags, opening and closing, head tag, title, this is my web page, closing head, body tag, closing body tag, and let's go ahead and do this too. We'll do style, background color, hex code for yellow, and a big welcome message. Alright, so I've got my page. Let me go ahead and do a file save as. And, I, and I'm going to go ahead and call it uh, index.html, which is a good generic name. First page for a web page, index.html. Go ahead and save that. Now when I jump back over to FileZilla, and I'm looking at my desktop, and do a refresh. Okay, there's the refresh button, and there's my index.html, and this is going to be really easy. I can simply drag it right over. Oh, and it looks like my connection disappeared, so let me reconnect. All right, I'm connected again. I need to go back into my public HTML, and I'm going to take this index file, index.html from the left, and drag it over to the right. It's now on there, and I'm going to take their default PHP file and just delete that. Now the only page in my public HTML folder is that index page, so I should be able to go back to this page and simply refresh, and I now see the page that I've just uploaded to the server. So that's basic, that's basic use of FileZilla right there. Uh, let me show you how we can do this using uh, Dreamweaver. Okay, I've got Dreamweaver open, and I'm going to go to Site, Manage Sites, and I'm going to create a new site. and now I just have to fill out this site information. Um, I will go ahead and call this my 
free web host and the address is going to be hikingandbend.com no I don't want to use a server technology edit local copies on my machine that's true where are my files going to be stored let me go ahead and just browse and find a place and I'll use the same folder that I was using for some other things web pages 09 summer select that next that's fine Okay, now that that's taken care of, I can see that I've got my free web host information over here on the left, and let me go ahead and create another quick page. Um, I'm going to say, hey, this is my page from Dreamweaver. File, save as, of course it's going to my free host folder, and I'm going to call this dw.html, and then save. Now that that's taken care of, easy enough to publish, I simply need to click on my file down here in my local view, hit my upload button. It's prompting me to put dependent files. I'll choose no since there are no dependent files, no CSS files or image files associated with it. And it has been done. So I should be able to go back to my site and if I go to dw.html, there's the page that I just created in Dreamweaver.